Hello and welcome to Regal Realm. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our royal content. Today, we're diving into the controversial topic of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's use of Frogmore Cottage. It turns out that the couple reportedly saved a whopping £690,000 by not having to pay rent on the property. When Harry and Meghan moved into Frogmore Cottage in 2019, it was expected that they would have to pay a commercial rate for rent. However, thanks to a deal that was established when the couple paid £2.4 million to refurbish the property, they didn't have to pay any rent at all. The estimated rental value of the cottage is between £150,000 to £230,000 annually, meaning the Sussexes may have saved approximately £690,000 over the last three years. The Mirror reported earlier this month that Harry and Meghan had been asked to leave Frogmore Cottage, and they won't renew their lease when it expires later this month. The deal with Buckingham Palace considered the increase in the value of the property following the work done to be rent in lieu. A palace spokesperson confirmed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a contribution of £2.4 million to the sovereign grant which covered the refurbishment of Frogmore Cottage, and they have fulfilled their financial obligations in relation to the property. While this deal was made between landlord and tenant and considered a private matter, it has sparked the interest of one critic, former Liberal Democrat MP and Privy Councillor Norman Baker. He expressed his outrage that Harry and Meghan were able to live in such a large house without having to pay rent while regular people struggled to put food on the table. It's not just Baker who has raised concerns about the deal. Many people are questioning whether other royal properties are being rented out below market rate. However, Buckingham Palace has confirmed that the accounting treatment of the deal was scrutinized and signed off by the National Audit Office and the Treasury. When Harry and Meghan stepped aside from their royal duties to become financially independent, they stated that Frogmore Cottage would remain their UK family home. The couple made extensive renovation work to the property, converting it from multiple residencies into a large family home. The deal to wipe out future rent obligations as part of the payment was not made public at the time. Buckingham Palace confirmed that the £2.4 million was split into three headings and recorded across two sets of accounts. In the 2020-21 sovereign grant figures, the lump sum was listed as both rental income and as recharges for functions and other income. A year later, the remainder of the lump sum appeared in the accounts as deferred income under current liabilities. While it's understandable that the refurbishment of Frogmore Cottage was expensive and the payment made by Harry and Meghan was significant, it's still causing controversy that the couple did not have to pay any rent for such a large property. However, it's important to note that the deal was made between landlord and tenant, and it was scrutinized and signed off by the National Audit Office and the Treasury. That's all for today's discussion on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's use of Frogmore Cottage. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future royal content. Thank you for watching Regal Realm.